Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to summarize another beautiful book and the book name is Spanda Karika Explained Gateway to Non-Dual Consciousness and this book is written by Mr. Achyuta BK. As you have already got the idea of this book because of the title, so before we start to summarize the book, I would like to tell about the author of the book. Achyuta BK is a seasoned professional in the IT and software industry with over three decades of experience. Currently, he is working as a chairman of Infopine Consultancy Services Private Limited. Beyond these professional achievements, Achyuta has dedicated the last 20 years to a deep spiritual journey. He has extensively studied various texts on non-dual consciousness and Kashmir Shaivism. So let's get started. To achieve direct knowledge and realize I am that, we can turn to the techniques of Kashmir Shaivism. This philosophy suggests that we need the world as a mirror to realize, to recognize the same supreme consciousness that exists within us. Just as we cannot see our own eyes without a mirror, we cannot fully know our consciousness without the reflection of the world. The individual world and universe serve as mirrors to help us understand our own consciousness. In this way, the supreme consciousness manifests as the world. Each individual has their own unique world and this diversity allows the non-dual consciousness which is one and infinite to play and not remain in singularity. The world helps this supreme consciousness experience existence through limited individuals whose eyes our senses act as instruments to this greatest awareness. Although each being is limited, they can recognize the same infinite consciousness within themselves. This leads to a written journey through the world, where we can intuitively recognize our own consciousness without any future separation. The Spanda Karika explained in the book describes this journey back to self-awareness. Surrendering to grace helps us in this realization and understanding which is ultimately expressed in the book. The book has mainly three sections. The first section, Swarup Spanda, deals with understanding who am I with insights and suggestions on some practices. The second section called Sahaj Vidyodaya deals with both aspects of self and the world around us and universe. The third section, Vibhuti Spanda, describes the state of a realized journey. He is the one who lives in Spanda principles and has entered Shiva consciousness. This book ends with two verses which prayers to Guru and Spanda principles. The book has verses on the left page and explanation is provided in the right page. The explanation should be contemplated and practiced to get experience. The objective of the book is to provide clear explanation to relate to non-dual consciousness in today's world. In today's world, identity is moving one away from spirituality and oneness. This book, an attempt to realize and practice a life with no identity. I'm going to read out here a few of them and also try to explain. So the first verse is saying, Nija Shuddha Dhyā Samarthasya Kartavyeshva Bhilashunah Yada Shobha Praliyet Tada Syat Param Padam We cannot realize that our self is infinite unchanging and full of deep awareness. Why? This is because there is a covering or veil over the self, which acts like a impurity, it's like a battery full of power, but with a plastic cover on top that stops the power from flowing. Until this cover is removed, we stay limited and unaware of our true inner strength. What causes this veil or impurity? The word says it is due to our identity. We think of ourselves as a specific rose, like father, mother, Hindu, Muslim, carpenter or other thing. These identities limit us. Once we let go of these labels, it's like the space inside a pot breaks and the pot merges with the infinite space outside. In the same way, when we drop these identities, we realize our true limitless self and its infinite awareness. The another one is saying, Yasmat sarvamayo jeevah sarvabhava samudbhavat tat samedan rupen 
तदात्मय प्रति पति द लिमिटेड सेल्फ एक्सपीरियंस इज द वर्ल्ड थ्रू एवरी थिंग दैट अराइज इज अराउंड इट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इट आइडेंटिफाइज इट सेल्फ विद द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड थॉट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज एक्सपीरियंसिस एक्चुअली टेक प्लेस विद इन शिवा the divine so the one who is experiencing is connected to what is being experienced and it is actually the divine who is both the experiencer and what is being experienced the understanding shows that jiva and shiva are the same through the journey of the living in this world jiva eventually realizes that it is the same as shiva the infinite consciousness jiva and shiva are part of the process of knowing the known and the knower the jiva is the one who experiences and through the experience it comes to realize its unity with shiva the another verse is saying ek chinta prasakatasya yatah syat parodayah unmeshah satu vigyeh swayam The verse is very important when a yogi is deeply focused on a thought, object, or matter. The mind becomes fully concentrated. Suddenly, the usual mental activities stop, thoughts disappear, and a state of transcendental awareness called unmesha is revealed, bringing a feeling of bliss. The yogi directly experiences the spanda principle, the vibration of consciousness. This bliss is unmesha. It is not an object that can be held or understood by thinking, but it is something that is revealed with the yogi through deep introspection. By looking inward, the yogi realizes the true infinite I, consciousness without any effort. By looking inward, the yogi realizes the true infinite I, consciousness without effort. Unmesha is the awakening of this awareness that comes when the mind is fully focused. The recognition that this awareness is the true self is a realization of Unmesha. So friends this is all about Spanda Karika. I hope you all have learned and experienced the key points of the book. Author have shared this perspective about spirituality. Hope you liked the book summary. If liked, please do comment and do not forget to buy a copy for your journey. Thank you so much for watching. We'll meet in another book summary. Till then, take care and keep reading. Thank you so much.